Yeah, so difficult for those family members. Thanks, Matt. This tragedy just generating an outpouring of thoughts, prayers, and well wishes. We posted this story on our Facebook page about 24 hours ago, and just look at the reaction. Nearly 200,000 people have been reached, many of them just leaving heartfelt comments, including a Somerville pastor. He was so moved by Pamela's death that he said he wanted to do something to help her family. News 2's Ashley Yost is live with more. Ashley. I mean, this story hits home for just about anyone who hears it because you can put yourself in her shoes. I think back to all the times that I've dropped something in a drive through just like this one at an ATM, and this feeling resonated so strongly with one Somerville pastor that he set up an account to raise money for the family. How many times have we leaned out of our car and to pick up something we dropped, you know, at a drive through It's just, it was so tragic. When he heard what had happened, he felt a connection to the family, even though they had never met. There many shares and likes and replies, uh, I was able to connect with the family. What do you think it is that connects you to a person that you don't even know? We all, sooner or later, are going to experience tragic times of loss and hurt and pain. But, you know, it's, it's just an opportunity at the same time to be able to to just reach out and show someone who's a complete stranger that we really care. Pamela leaves behind three kids, a 10-year-old, a 6-year-old, and a 5-month-old. They let them know last night what happened, and it was really tragic. It was very heart-wrenching to hear of just, you know, that conversation. As a dad, that hit home for Abraham. Yeah, I just squeezed my little ones more last night, and I mean, Easter is right around the corner. You know, they're spending Easter without their, their mother now. And um, we've already had somebody reach out and say they're making some baskets for the kids. He got permission from Pamela's sister to start a fundraiser for the family. Look, if we can share this to as many people as possible, if somebody donates $5, it's more. You know, if somebody donates 100 out, it really doesn't matter the amount, but we just need people to donate. That's the sister right there in blue, and every last penny is going to the family. He said the emotional stress for them is going to be hard enough. The goal is to not have them have to even think about the finances. You can donate using a secure PayPal account. We will have the link for that on our website. You can go straight to countonto.com to donate. Live right now in Somerville, I'm Ashley Yost, News 2.